Hello, this is Dr. Lotz from humanbodyhelp.com and today I'm running through the bones and the structures of the foot. So let's orient ourselves as to what we're looking at. This is a foot. We're looking at the dorsal aspect of the foot, the dorsum of the foot, or the top of the foot. Okay. This would be lateral, where the little toe is. This side would be medial, where the big toe is. Okay, this is where your heel's going to be, so this would be posterior, and this would point anterior. Okay? The plantar surface of the foot, or the undersurface of the foot, the surface that's going to contact the ground when we step on it and walk, that's right here. This is the plantar surface. Okay? Now, the first bones I want to talk about would be the tarsal bone. Okay, now we're in the foot, we're dealing with tarsals, metatarsals, and phalanges like we did in the hand, instead of carpals, metacarpals, and phalanges. In the wrist, we call those carpal bones, but in the foot, we call these bones here tarsal bones. Okay, remember the mnemonic. You drive a car with your hand, you step on tar with your foot, so the tarsal bones are in the foot. And when I identify these, I like to start with the top bone of the foot, known as the talus. You can see it right here. The talus articulates with the tibia. See what I did with the T's there? Okay. Talus articulates with the tibia. So that's the top bone of the foot. The next bone down would be the navicular. And then we've got the medial, intermediate, and lateral cuneiform. This is the lateral aspect of the foot. So medial, intermediate, and lateral cuneiform. Sometimes they're called cuneiform 1, cuneiform 2, and cuneiform 3. Then we have the cuboid bone right here. Okay? And then finally, to complete our circle, I go to this bone right here. This is the calcaneus. This is your heel bone. And if I turn the model like this, you can see this heel bone right there. That's the calcaneus. Okay. So again, talus, navicular, medial, intermediate, lateral cuneiform, cuboid, and calcaneus. There's an interesting structure underneath this cuboid bone, and that's this structure right here. Okay, This groove right here is the groove for the tendon of the fibularis longus muscle. That fibularis longus muscle runs down the fibula, behind the lateral malleolus, and then across the foot like this. So it kind of forms a stirrup underneath the foot. It's going to insert onto these two bones right here, the medial cuneiform and the first metatarsal. On the dorsum of the foot, the tibialis anterior will also attach to those two bones. So sometimes tibialis anterior and fibularis longus muscles are considered or called the stirrup muscles. These five bones right here are the metatarsals. Each one has a base, a body, and a head. Okay. The one associated with the big toe, or the hallux, this is larger because a lot of force gets applied through this bone. Over here, metatarsal number five has this interesting feature on the base. This right here, this base of the fifth metatarsal, is a site for muscular attachment. And those muscles, when they pull on this bone right here, they put a lot of stress on the bone and the bone gets bigger. Okay, so this is the base of the fifth metatarsal. And you can actually palpate, you can actually feel that on the side of your foot. When you drop off, going proximally towards your calcaneus, if you drop off that into that little mushy spot right next to it, when you palpate your foot, you'll be right on the cuboid bone. Okay. So these are the metatarsals, numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, starting with the big toe. And then we have the phalanges. Okay. We have two phalanges in the big toe, and then three phalanges in all of the other toes. Okay. Just like in the thumb. 
two phalanges, we've got a proximal phalanx and a distal phalanx. And then with the other toe bones, the other phalanges, we've got a proximal, middle, and distal phalange, or proximal, middle, and distal phalanx. Phalange and phalanx are terms that can be used interchangeably. If you found this video helpful, click like and consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to visit www.humanbodyhelp.com.